Good day everybody, welcome to today's video. In the last video I showed you guys what I do to set up the ring gear, get it bolted down and torqued. And now I'm going to show you my tips on getting the carrier bearings on right the first time. Now I'm just going to get ready to press the bearings on. So I got the old bearing that I'm going to die grind out the race so it can slide over top easy. Just in case there's some extra, I'm going to cut the bearing section off and I'm going to press on the inside of that race when I get that on. So I got the bearing, that's what I made. That way I could push on that center race, get her down. To make it go on easier, I'm just gonna put some assembly grease. Now the outer race, you can leave on, doesn't matter. You just gotta make sure that is 100% centered. And I'm probably going to have to get a spacer or something. Be as centered as possible. There we go, we're going down. Feel the tension, we're on, back her off, have a look, what you want to make sure is you're bottomed out there, one thou of a difference will make a difference, if you're not bottomed out, and it bottoms out after it's installed, you just knocked your whole gearing out. Same thing, I'm just going to lubricate it assembly grease so that goes on a little easier put the bearing in center that race i got a bit of a gap there so i'm actually Perfect. Make sure we're tight. Oh, we're going crooked. We're going crooked. You know why we're going crooked? Because I got too cocky. Do you know how we fix that? I didn't center it. So now I gotta go to the other side here. Where I did put it on crooked. I kind of recenter it. Lift her up. That was a mistake on my behalf. Not paying attention, but easy enough to fix. Sometimes you just have to keep walking it. See, we're going down now. Crisis adverted. See right there, that one there is not quite down. A few reasons for that. My centerpiece there might have got caught on the shaft and gave me the false illusion. There, I felt that little give, felt that little give. It's all about alignment. That's why I made this piece. That's why I made this piece. 
So you can see underneath we tighten the gap. So it likely most what happened is that this comes up a little ways. So if my spacer I made wasn't exactly centered, it would give me the illusion that I was tight, but I wasn't. Even though it's beveled, but I might have been out just enough. Now we're bottomed out and we're good. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and this helped you out. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.